Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here, I touch iPods, and today is Saturday, December 5th, 2009, and I have <clears throat> a review too for you guys of the Clear Cow Protective Film for the Apple iPod Touch 2G. This is Radtex Anti Glare Screen Protector. Um, but really quickly, before I go ahead and get into this review, I want to give two quick shout outs. Those two shout outs are one going to Rizzo893 once again. Rizzo893. Um, like I said, he is having a giveaway going on right now on an Apple TV. I believe it ends really soon, so make sure if you're not in on it, go ahead and get in on it. Link over there in the video description. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out to Rumman112. Rumman112. Link in the video description who wanted me to let you guys know that he is having um, a giveaway going on right now for an iPhone 3G um, and also a laptop. So go ahead and check him out. Once again, a link and the blurriness in the video description. Without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get straight on into this. Alright guys, so like I said, I have the Radtech Clear Cal screen protector review too for you guys right here. This is going to be a rather short video because it's a pretty simple thing, um, but I want to get my point across, okay? So, as you can see, obviously, within the introduction of this video and here, this is a regular screen protector just like any other, but it's different because it is a anti-glare. Let's see if we can get this in here. It's an anti-glare screen shield. And as some of you guys may know, I do have the power support anti-glare on my iPod Touch 2G right here. This is mine um, with the Incipio Feather. But my friend uh, allowed me to borrow his iPod Touch 2G right here, which he did not have an anti-glare screen protector on it, and he wanted one on, on there. So I went ahead and I applied the anti-glare um, from Radtech, while I still have the power support anti-glare on my iPod Touch 2G. And this is also going to be a quick comparison video as well. Um, so the clear cow from Radtech, it's twelve dollars and ninety-five cents right now, and the power support is fourteen dollars and ninety-five cents. Radtech's price is a little bit cheaper than power support's price. It comes with two screen protectors, so does the anti-glare. Um, it also has; they both also have the full front. And um, on Radtech's website, you could choose to have just the screen. You could choose to have it for other iPods. You could choose to have it the whole iPod. Definitely a lot more options on Radtech's website. Make sure you go ahead and check out Radtech.com or Radtech.us and check out this clear cow if you're interested, by the way. Okay. So like I said, it comes with two in this very simple packaging. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll just show you guys. So here, really quickly, I'll zoom in very close. On the left is my iPod once again with the power support anti-glare and on the right is the uh, my friend's iPod with the clear cow anti-glare from radtech.com. Okay? If you guys can tell a little bit of a difference, the Radtech looks a lot smoother than uh, power support. It could be just because of wear and tear that I've been using mine a lot, but it just feels a lot smoother. Radtech just feels a lot smoother on the hand. Um, and you can see the light that's shining right down on them. You're still going to get a little bit of glare, but you guys can see you don't see the straight reflection like you would with other iPods. Um, here with the uh, Radtech one, you see just the blur of the light. So that's going to help you a lot with your games when you're out in the sun or something like that with this screen protector from Radtech that you're not going to have the reflection of the sun right on your iPod. So you're not going to see the sun right there on your iPod instead of your game. You're going to see just a little bit of a blur, but the game is still going to be there and perfect, uh, very easy to see. Um, as you guys can tell, it is, like I said, very smooth. Because it is the anti-glare, that's what it's going to give you. Um, a very smooth feeling when you're scrolling through your pages. It's going to feel very smooth. This definitely is going to protect you from scratches because it is a little bit thicker than normal screen protectors. Um, it is very easy to install as well. I just went ahead and sprayed down the iPod with Ritex OmniCleans, wiped it down with the cloth, and then applied this. It took me a couple tries to get it just right, but I perfectly, almost perfectly, lined up all the edges. Um, as you guys can see, there are a couple uh, air bubbles. I'll go ahead and zoom in on one right there. But the packaging does say that the air bubbles will go away uh, within a couple days, so you don't really need to worry about uh, the air bubbles that much. So with this Radtech anti-glare screen protector, you're also going to be getting, um, like I said, really great protection on the screen itself, just like a screen protector would give it. So you're not just getting the anti-glare with not having anything reflecting straight into it, so you can't even see my reflection in like you usually would be able to, which is perfect, you're going to be getting a lot of scratch protection from this. See, I'll go ahead and use my nail. It's You guys can see the little marks on the screen right there. You just go ahead and take a cloth or something, wipe them away really smoothly, 
and boom, they're gone. Um, like I said, it's going to be a little bit thicker than regular screen shields, so you're going to get a lot more protection on the front of your device, which, you know, everybody wants because the screen is the most important part of the iPod. You can tell the backs of iPods aren't really that important, and they're always getting scratched up, but the front is what you want to keep nice and clean. Um, you can see a little scratch right there. That is on the iPod itself. That is not on uh, the screen protector. That was got before the screen protector was put on there, uh, but most likely, with if this iPod would have had the screen protector on there, that scratch probably would could have been avoided um, because this screen protector is very high quality. You guys can see that it's not really raised up at all from the iPod itself. It's very directly flat on there, so it's not going to affect anything. You want to go ahead and throw on a new case or something like that. It's not going to affect anything like that. Um, it's definitely a great screen protector. If you guys are looking into a high quality, cheap priced uh, anti-glare screen protector, I definitely recommend that you go forward with the RadTech Clear Cal protective film for the Apple Touch 2G, the anti-glare. RadTech also has the mirrored screen protector, the regular screen protector, and this anti-glare. Um, now, would I choose the RadTech or the power support? Right now, guys, I'm leaning towards the... Uh, um, the RadTech Anti-Glare, just because it feels a lot smoother, it almost seems like there's a lot less glare with it, it's not as much spread out, um, and it's a little bit thinner, I mean a little bit thicker, which gives it um, that much more protection of their screen, and also it's just thin enough so it doesn't go up over your iPod, so you don't have to worry about um, it interfering with any cases you want to put on your iPod like the Sensipio Feather. It's a great product, guys. Like I said, $12.95. It's much cheaper than any other of the anti-glare film sets out there. So go ahead and check out this product. High quality, low price. Definitely something you need to go and check out. Thanks for watching, guys. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. And thanks to Tech. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.